Dr. Bucky is playing the human race and we start on Twisted Meadows. Can a game start better? I wouldn't think so. Dice and Starbuck, they've met each other six times. Usually it goes towards Starbuck, who might be considered the favorite with that. I'm not too sure. In the last weekly though, and in Fountain of Mana League, the matches went to Dice. So while in general Starbuck is ahead, the momentum seems to be with a nicer Dicer and we kick things off on the most beautiful map of them all. Starbuck, of course, very strong random player with Night Elf, however, being by far his weakest race. He's playing human here. Still considers that to be the best matchup against Elf and Dice surprises me. Team Hunter picked, just like he showed against Happy, I guess that's why we shouldn't be too surprised. He's a big fan of the Team Hunter. We might see some immolation here. I would have perhaps expected more a Warden, because this is a super good Warden map. But Dice wants to have a grand old flaming time here, perhaps. Immolation! Let's go for a nice little base haze. If he's going Mana Burn, I'm so damn disappointed though and yeah i'm curious starbuck how good are you already with playing against it will you build an arcane tower will you run away from immolation will you maybe distract dice in a way that you can't even move towards the human base immolation is strong and if you make it into the peasants then this is a disaster but there are ways to play against it yeah i think the play for humans should be Scout the Night of Hero, which is something they normally always have to do with the first 40 anyways. And if you see a demon, slap down an arcane tower instantly. Or maybe not instantly, but by the time that the Tele Staff becomes available, that's when you need to have an arcane tower. And that is at 1900 in-game. Tier 2. At 2 minutes 30. 2 farm tech by Starbuck. Is he going to play a rifle push? I would say that's very strong on this patch. Oh, team Hunter items. Oh my god. Ooh, okay, that's pretty good. The real Tinka, thank you for the 39 month resub. One of our very early supporters. And two Euros by Slash. Craft is the reason why dinosaurs are extinct. I don't get it. What? Craft is the reason why dinosaurs are extinct. Five gifted yeah, subs by Slade's Kingdom because he's that damn powerful and stuff. He's just celebrating the win of Craft. Remo. Anyway, right. cool. okay, later. Cool. It is Good one. an early blacksmith. Yeah, Starbuck told me he's gonna try out the new human blacksmith, and uh, well, he wasn't lying. Nice little dinner. And here's right the tele staff. 1900, perfectly on time. And I mean. Im I feel like you kind of gotta expect this nowadays, don't yeah, you? I think so too. Barely any counterplay against it. That's one peasant down. That's two. And yeah, the damage is absolutely crazy. Wisp detonate against the water elemental. Yikes! Bucky, no arcane tower. That means the entire mana pool will probably be burned. Forces a town portal here soon. Nice save here and there. There was also quite some kills. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah? I think you just gotta build an arcane tower, eh? I think so too, but then you can't attack that fast. Yeah. I think arcane might be more important. Because what? I imagine, like... I think if you're an arcane tower in the main base... You can just ignore the Demon Hunter, kind of. He staffs in, and you just keep creeping, you get level 3, and then you attack, and the Demon Hunter's gonna have zero mana in the end. But this way, we had a whole bunch of peasants going down. I think one footy, maybe? Or no, I think he actually saved that one. But yeah, lots of peasants went down, which means that expanding, impossible, and also tower pushing with so few peasants, perhaps not feasible either. And of course, you can... Uh... Use Imbalation to creep as well. That's boom, level 3, plus a Ring of Protection, which is also pretty great with an Immolation build. And now he goes Immolation 2. I love it. He didn't play that one against Happy. But oh boy, that lore, that's up for grabs. 
Oh, getting kind of stuck here is Starbuck. He doesn't have a TP anymore, by the way. Dude, if he gets surrounded, could be weird. Could be real weird. He's double surrounded! <laughs> that's a disaster. Yeah, that's a game. GG. Wow! Five minutes 43 for Demon Hunter dominance alone. Dice feeling really comfortable on Twisted these days. Yeah, nice demon play. Immolation proving to be very strong here once more. And we see Immolation has to be respected nowadays. Yep. Either with an arcade tower or maybe with aggressive play. Probably the more eco economical way to go about it is just creep level two and then harass right away. But yeah, you, you can't you can't just leave the door wide open like this. That was indeed a problem. Didn't get the staff, didn't get an arcane. And all of a sudden, the game was more or less over. Must feel good for DICE to have quick games going in favor of himself. And unlike in the weekly series where he gets slapped by Happy every other week. Yeah, um, there are counterplays to this simulation, but not yet for Dr. Buckster. That was uh, a well-learned lesson though. Yes. So I imagine now we're going to have a more immediate response to a demon hunter. If it should be a demon hunter again. We got another one euro donation donation by Slash clarifying because Krav kills the raptors. Ah, you see, that makes more sense. There we go. Thank there you. you. Go. You should have just uh, pretended to not get it either. So Slash has to donate more and more and more. <laughs> it's diminishing returns though. It was only one euro this time. Next time it's gonna be fifty cents. You know, like <laughs> <laughs> life must be tough in the uh, what's it called the the healthcare industry. Oh, it always is. We know it always is. Also, kind of tough to get this game started as we are in the loading screen, but it's not loading too much. What's the map, by the way? Mm, yep. That's the regame. Springtime, it shall be. Okay, I hope we're not getting a timeout. That seems to be rather common these days. I think you just have to uh, restart everything. Thank you, Tash Viz Mayor, for the eight month resub. Cheers, and the Wall Street guy with the three month resub. No, Arcane is pretty greedy. I 100% agree. Remo, maybe you know this. I know yet that you're not a Night Elf main. Yet. Not yet. Yeah, not, not yet. Uh, I was about to say. Did the Crow form transformation have a cooldown before this patch? Because it doesn't have one now. You can morph while the Crow is still on the ground. I would have thought not, because Bear never had cooldown, but I'm not sure. What's the... Is the game up? Yeah. What number? It's in the chat. Just say it! Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> sorry. Sorry sorry for yelling at you, Remo. I apologize. All right, we are ready. Fingers crossed. We've been getting a lot more of these bugs lately, unfortunately. <clears throat> That's the second one in a row. I wonder if it may have to do something with uh, ping equalizer, because it does seem to be happening more on a merely sub subjective standpoint. I think it's about the server. Well, this one used to be very stable. Oh, things, things change, Remo. Isn't that uh, the opening line of the Lord of the Rings movies? Shouldn't you know? What was the opening line? <laughs> 
Uh, I know it in German. Die Welt ist im Wandel. <laughs> yes. All right, we try once more. Three the times. Third one sun. is said to be a rather good one. Oh, Toxie yelling at me. Of course, there was no cooldown on Crow form. You could always dodge Shockwave with it and morph back. Yeah, but instantly on the ground. Okay, 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 I believe you. Uh, same game name with a number behind? Uh, yes. Ah, okay. Oh, you're not on the server. Oh, it's another server. You might not be connected to Flow. Uh, you still use Mana? Okay. Yeah. I think you're, yep. Yeah, there was, oh wait, I sent that, I, I sent that clip to some Discord. Uh, oh, that was early. No, that was late yesterday. How was it? There we go. Found it. Well, Remo not from, I'm not from Alabama, reconnecting. bro. Okay, I should probably mute that chat. Uh... There was a King of the Hill game yesterday, so yeah, check it out, everybody. The crow form, boop, zip, zip, all on the ground. Gargs weren't weren't able to attack. I think he attacked. Uh, he he moved and not attacked or something. But that's a quick transformation. See, crows, uh, crows don't hit the air. Wait, there it is. Whoop, whoop, morph back. I haven't seen that. In competitive Warcraft before. Yeah, it would be cool if there's more tactical plays now available with the talent since the mana cost was reduced so much. Would be kind of fun. I keep having no connection. Okay. I'll create then. Map of springtime, right? EU East Cinco. Oh, maybe it has to be a new solo cast then. Or does it work now? Otherwise, we just go ahead. No? Still trying to see if the connection works. Alright, I'm in the game. Did you also host? Yep. What? I did. Okay. Key gas, thank you for the 213 sub. So what's your game name? Uh regame three. Alright, we get the go. From dice. We got the go from Bucky. We go! Will it work this time? I think the server's just bugged. Oh! Sounds good. See? Hey. When I do it, it's working. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy when it doesn't work when you do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're gonna keep that one in the quiver. All right then, let's see if DICE can follow Craft into the grand final or if Bucky can make this another full out best of five. Springtime is the map, Starbuck is on human by the way, not random, so it's the same matchup. But is it going to be the same heroes, Mr. Remo Demo? Tell us! Tell us! Yeah, I would say this map certainly is pretty bad for Warden, so that one's out of the equation. So it's between Keeper and Demon Hunter, one would think. 
I think Dice likes the demon. He's up 1-0. Why not do it again? Exactly. Never change a winning horse. I think that's how it goes. And the rush distance is okay. Staff, not that easily available. Is it Immo? Oh, here we go again. Love it. I think what we clearly saw was that a two farm tech is probably a bit too stubborn against the new day Demon Hunter emulation play. I wonder, couldn't you just instant expand? Then your peasant gets slaughtered at the expo and your main I is mean, safe? I mean, I think just build an arcane and you're more or less safe. I wonder what the, terming, what the timings are. Because Demon normally always wants to creep one camp. If he creeps one camp, you have the time to go for the instant expo. But if the Wisp scouts the movement, maybe the Demon heads north right away. But then he's only level one without an item. Yeah, there's still lots of discoveries to be made for sure with this Demon Hunter play. Oh, he's creeping two camps at the same time. That's pretty swag. I like this. Ooh, okay. That's how you get level two quickly. Both camps rather easy as well, so it shouldn't be a big deal. On the other side, the Demon Hunter is doing more or less the same. Also level 2 in no time. Pretty cool. I always love the evolution of the creeping game. Oh, he needs a little one creep, right? For level 2. Oh, no, he needs a little bit more. 4 XP missing. Why, though? Ah, the green is not finished. Okay. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the Demon Hunter is only at 50%, even less. And this is what we're happy played as well, right? Play really aggro, level 2, run across. Since it's no keeper, since there's no entangle, you have way more freedom to be aggressive with these footies without the same risk of them going down. And this is looking way different already. I agree. That should be a lot safer. Last hit on the Shaman is... Quite important. It's also evasion first, so it's not even a chance to go emulation now. Oh, big detonate. Oh! Creeps deny the experience. Still not level 2 for the Demon Hunter. He only needs one kill. One kill. All he needs is one kill. Oh. And there it is. He wanted to deny, but the Demon Hunter was there faster. Can he get the staff? Ping Equalizer is on. Who's faster? Oh, that's <laughs> so big. Block though. Demon going for the boots, but too late. The Archmage can just save himself via the staff. Okay, he can finish the shop, uh, the camp now. But Starbuck shocking around. Has another water elemental soonish. Can, of course, staff back. There's no entangle against it. No shadow strike to be feared. And I think Dice is running out of time with emulation or for emulation. Yeah, so far we have seen uh, quite literally no use for it. How the Wisps doing in the main base? So far none have gone down. Archer is also taking some damage, but Dice reacting fast enough. He got one footy kill, by the way, on the back end. And it will force away this Archmage here via the staff. But he's got the boots, so he can chase for one more kill. He's got a replenishment potion as well, which is going to be quite nice. Off we go. Save some moon juice. Still holding on to the skill point. Scout tower is ready this time. Can be upgraded. Rifles are ready. And now we see if the rifle push is really as devious as everybody said. MK second. Huh. Wouldn't Blood Mage right. be amazing? Or Naga? Yeah, I feel like Naga is the safe way to go. Like, Naga's, Naga's even good against immolation. Make it harder for the demon to get into the right position for max damage. <laughs> One Archmage and one rifle harassing. I like it. A player's are under attack. Well, make it two now. Archer's ready and we have a game. Naga second as well. Yeah, that Mountain King against a higher level Demon Hunter later. I mean, it will definitely force mana burn. And you don't have to deal with a new buffed spell. But okay, wonder how that will play out. Maybe you should just skip... Evasion. Well, he's got evasion already, so that's not a factor. 
interesting. Big mana potion. The first time ever where the demon hunters maybe need a big mana potion. <laughs> oh my god, imagine like Terran stand, first camp, big mana potion, slippers, Shadow Priest to heal ya, and then off into the human expansion. Guess a level three here as well. Is it level two immolation though, or is it the one one one? No, it's demon. Uh, it's mana burn two. No ah, emulation. Doesn't, have, doesn't even have it. Well, in that case, this MK is not going to have such a fun time, most likely. Yeah, that's true. Rifles are coming, and it also looks like Dice is having a solid time delaying this rifle push. It's not instant. He's second to tier 3 already. And thanks to the Naga, he can pick a fight here. Yeah, the demon is just so strong. Level 3 demon with boots. We've seen it time and time again. The militia arrive a bit too late, honestly. And that's another kill. And this is all before we have dryads, all before we have bears. Guys, looking really good here. And he got some practice yesterday versus Undead Garks already. A rifle falls and of course no storm ball. This is a pure W for dice. That fight was not Starbucks to take. Oh, and he gets the next priest, maybe as well. Ooh, really close. Oh, he gets it in the end. One more shot, one more kill. Beautiful play by Dice. This one base micro kind of game is exactly what he wants. And he can force the staff as well. Man up on right, Dix gets the kill. And that's just it. That's the grand final. Starbuck getting trampled by Dice. Wow. Did not expect it in that fashion. Fork Lightning coming in. There's no bash. You can calculate this perfectly, more or less. Another <sighs> rifle falling Damn. down to 34. It's absolutely nothing left. And Dice, he hasn't even unfolded Master Bears yet. Yeah, sweet baby Jesus. This game spiraled out of control so fast somehow. I think, actually, the big mistake by Starbuck was creeping that green camp there in the top right and not going aggressive into the main base right away. Tried to creep it, didn't get it, got creep jack, lost too much HP, couldn't contest anymore, and then it just got bullied by that level 3 demon hunter. Still fighting though. Only one and a half, a half hours in to this tournament and we might have a grand final here very, very soon. Maybe Starbuck, I mean, it's the year of the rabbit. Maybe he finds a rabbit in his head. Certainly needs one. And a hare and a dog and a magpie too to steal this one away. I love to have a tamed magpie, dude. To send it out, let it steal some stuff, bring it back, sell it on eBay. Money. Maybe you can open the magpie and penguin resort. <sighs> for endangered animals. Yeah, once I get the million dollar donation that I'm uh, desperately waiting on, I'll do it. The Penguin King is what you're going to be known as. I mean, uh, there was one already in the Batman universe. I can just copy that. He was kind of scary though. Dude, as a kid, <laughs> that guy yeah. seemed super scary indeed. Still scary to me. Archer falls, but that's not the end of the world. Starbuck still trying with the rifle push. This has to hurt now, but how? Yeah, honestly, Dice is still kind of broke. Still doesn't have a big army. Oh, and I stumble dodge. Dice is on point with these micro moves. Nice fog lightning into three of the rifles. Heal scroll forced quite early on already. Little four demon hunter. He is super, t super tanky now. I think he didn't use the next mana burn in time. But other than that, everything is looking really crisp. Dried goes down though. No dispel anymore. The water elemental is doing a good job. One of mana stealing being used as well. And the demon hunter is just running amok here. Two rifles down. The priests were trying so hard to keep them in the game, but wasn't possible. Here comes the retooth. We have dispel against it. Seeing it now. There's another bash. Okay, maybe there is a chance for Starbucks somehow. He's 10 supply ahead, but of course, the more more bears are trickling in, the better it is for dice. Moonwell's also empty. With a lucky bash, there might be a chance, but uh-uh, staff is ready. Healing potion necessary, as we have so few bears. That there is the Riju. Can he get the dispel? Yep, he did. 
Death on cooldown. Needs to be careful now with the demon. The priest's spell was good indeed. The one thing that was missing here was some wisp detonates. And that one burn. But even without those dice still holes, still a solid play, still a really good performance here. The Demon Hunter, old school, classic Night Elf play. Here comes the towers as a little bit of a support. He was lacking them before. We don't have more dispel, right? Nope. Brilliance are not strong enough on level one to supply them. Archmage. Oh, wow. That's an unfair fight right there. Everything's out of mana, exactly the way the Team Hunter likes it. And the bear's putting in good damage. Team Hunter diving deep again, knowing that the staff is ready for him to save him at a moment's notice. GG well played. Bucky giving kudos to Dice, and rightfully so. He played this really well. It moves on into the grants without dropping a map. Exactly. The only player who didn't drop a map. 11 minutes 45 is what it took. This was not Starbucks' best showing. Game 1 lost to a demon hunter more or less game two uh, lost to a premature fight pretty unfortunate for him we expected a little more i guess but springtime was a little bit too much dice was a little bit too much and as you said we have our grand final that will be a best of five how many gargs will we see in that series a whole bunch i would expect Craft has shown how strong he is against that playstyle, but I think Dice is going to play differently against it. Maybe he's going to play Keeper, perhaps, yeah. but I think uh, Demon Hunter might be more likely. But especially, I don't expect Air. I would expect Dryads, for sure. So, it should be a very different game then, still, in that case. Yeah, I agree! These guys have to do the map picks and bans, obviously, giving us some time to... Uh, plug our page back to warcraft.com slash support where you can see all the ways to support us this is a 500 dollar tournament from our own pocket so every tiny bit helps out we got a patreon you can sub here on twitch you can also if you're watching this on youtube go for a youtube membership or a super thanks or a super comment you can throw us a one-time donation with PayPal, credit card, and cryptocurrency, as well as buy some merchandise, t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, we got it all! And of course, uh, shout out to Corsair, to Holy, to Huel, and maybe you want to try out Opera GX as well, a browser, a web browser for gamers. I know, Remo, you were a big fan of Opera for a long time. Oh, hell yeah. To this day, gotta have my two browsers rolling. There we go. Okay, then. We throw you guys into a little bit of a break to give you time to click on all these links on backtowarcraft.com support. And then we're back with the grand final. <laughs> 